Friends, what up? Wanted to teach you a song, Brandon Lake, Gratitude. Just been loving it the last few weeks. Been ministering to me, encouraging me. Um, so wanted to teach it to you. Um, it's mainly just finger picking, which is, you know, awesome. Just some nice, pretty finger picking. So I'm going to teach you that. I'm also going to just kind of show you a little bit of a strum pattern. Um, in the song, it never, it's like a soft, you know, love song to the Lord. I love them. You know, I'm a sucker for the love songs to the Lord. Um, so it really doesn't build up a lot. Like there's no like strumming, strumming in it. But just in, in case you, you weren't able to finger pick what I'm going to show you, I, I want to make sure you're able to play it um, and worship to it. Um, so I'm going to just teach you a really basic strum pattern that keeps it nice and soft and chill and just kind of that, you know, love song vibe. So anyways, it's in the key of B. Um, it's just four chords, four chords, uh, using the G shapes. Um, so the chords we need, G, E minor, D, and the C at nine. So just a little FYI, you know, Brandon Lake, he's hanging up really high vocally on this song. Just such a great, great song, great vocals, awesome voice. Your boy just can't quite get there. So for the sake of this lesson, um, I'm going to take it down two capos. So instead of the capo being on the fourth fret, I'm going to take it down to the second fret. It's still a little bit high, but it's just a little bit easier for me to like, kind of sink through the lesson and sink through where the changes are. So you may have to do that yourself. Um, play around with the capo, see what feels good for you vocally. I mean, he's hanging up high in the vocal register in this song and maybe some falsetto. So your boy ain't doing that. You don't want me to do that. So, you know, singers, you guys can, can just play around and do what you want to do um, on this one. But it's still going to be the same chords. So if you wanted to play along with his song in the recorded version, just put in the capo fourth fret and then still play these G shapes. So that being said, let's get into it. I'm going to throw some helpful links um, up top and in the description below. Finger placement for each chord, a video for that. Uh, which strings you should be strumming for each chord. I'll put a link for that up top and down below. Um, and uh, a finger picking lesson. It just kind of gives you a breakdown as to where my fingers are going over here um, on the right side, which strings. that It's called finger pick like a worship leader with just three fingers. Um, so I'll include some of those resources up top and down below if you need some extra help. So the, um, the intro is going to be the same as the verse. So it's going to be G to the E minor to the D and then to the C at 9. So just downstream wise, verse 1. Oh, my words fall short and I've got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? And then verse 2, same thing. And I could sing these songs as I often do. But every song must end and you never do. So that's just giving you a breakdown as to where the chords change, lyrically, all that good stuff. So finger picking wise. Um, so we'll start off on the, uh, the G chord. Again, finger picking position over here. I'm going to call out some of the strings. So it's going to go... Um, so thumb. I'll just play through it once and then you can... Uh, and then I'll explain it to you. I've got nothing new How could I express All my gratitude I could sing these songs As I often 
every song must end and you never do so as you can tell super pretty song love it so what i'm doing is i'm just going to give you the simplified version of it so it's So the pattern I'm, I'm, I'm playing here is the same one I show you in my lesson, the finger picking lesson. So it's just gonna be thumb, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. Thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. And then when you transition, or right after that, it's just gonna be, so. You're gonna, right after this, you're gonna add in an extra pointer on that uh, um, G string, so. And then start it over again. You do it four times for each chord. So, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, pointer. Again, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, pointer, and that, that last pointer finger on the G string, that's just a, like a, a, a little transition chord. So transition uh, note. Same thing on the E minor. Same on the D and same on the C. Um, you're just changing what your thumb picks as the bass note based on the chord. So on the G, you're picking the thumb bass note, top E string. But the E minor, the thumb on the bass note stays on that E string because that's your E minor, that's your bass note. The D, it just your, your thumb is picking that open D string. And then for the C at nine, your thumb is picking that uh, A string, second one from the top. So um, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just play through that one time. And you'll notice that I'm adding some additional strings in there. Um, so, but this is the main form. This is the main like template that you can use. So. So that's pretty much it. Um, so you might need to rewind it and just kind of like double check on a few of those things. I'm gonna get to the chorus here. Um, it's gonna the chords are gonna change just a little bit the order, so it's gonna go G, and then it's gonna go to a D, and then it goes to a C, and then E minor, D. So it'll sound like this. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. Repeat it. And I know it's not much, but I've nothing else fit for a king. Except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. And then you'll just end on the, that last little progression on the G chord as we get into the next verse. So that's a breakdown downstream wise. As you can tell, I mean, that thing gets pretty high, so you may need to drop this thing down even a little bit more. 
but for singers, you know what you're doing out there. Um, so again, strum, uh, picking, same pattern, same exact pattern. So let me just show you the strum pattern um, that you could do. And it's just gonna be super easy. Down, up, 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 down, up. You can do your own strum pattern, but if you're a new guitar player and you don't really understand strum patterns and how they work, this will just be a super basic one that'll kind of get you through uh, give you a starting point until you kind of get a little bit more comfortable and then you can like kind of create your own um, and add in some some extra stuff so it's just gonna be um, so verse three and I've got one response and I got just one move with my arms stretched wide I'll worship you. Same thing with the chorus. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. Do, do, do. Just keep it nice and soft, nothing crazy, nothing, you know, uh, that's going to take away from the just the nice feel of the song. So anyways, we're going to get into the, the, the bridge. You're just going to play the G getting into that bridge. And the bridge is like the best part of the song. I just love it. It's kind of like, you know, gets you gets you a little bit pumped up, uh, the lyrics and stuff. So the first time you go through, you can just hang on to the G. Come on, my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your soul Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs Get up and praise the Lord Something like that, that was a little, that was a little messy But um, if you were just doing it with the acoustic I would probably just play, instead of just hanging on the G for that first time through I would just play the regular chord progression, which is going to be G. Come on, my soul, but don't you get shy on me. D, lift up your soul, because you've got a lion in C, side of those lungs. Get up and praise the G to the D. So I would probably just do that. It feels a little bit better um, for me. But anyways, you do what you want to do. Um, but it's going to be, So come on, my soul. Don't you get shy on me. Lift up your soul. Because you've got a lion inside of those thumbs. Get up and praise the Lord. So that's chord progression I mean for that whole bridge and again you can see you can finger pick it same finger picking a pattern or if you wanted to strum it like I was strumming it just that down up down up down up um 
And then after the bridge, it'll just kind of go into a little, a little interlude. It'll be just be the the C, B minor, D. So you'll do that, and then um, eventually you'll go into. I think they have like this alternate chorus, which you have like a D minor in there and a C minor, which we ain't getting into that. Um, I would just play the regular the regular chords for the chorus instead of doing the D minor and then the C minor. Just play the regular chorus. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. So just one last thing, you can just kind of add some additional chord voicings in there. So like this, this C-shaped uh, D chord. So this is a D chord. Instead of playing this one, you can play this one. I call it the the C-shaped uh, D chord. That is just the, the best chord ever. All these. Uh, it, it's just one of the most popular kind of like D chords in like in, in worship and in the acoustic guitar. So you can do that one. And I'll put a link for that one up top and then in the description below. And then also you can do like some of these slide up C, like it just, that's a G shaped. Uh, that's a C chord right there. So I'll include that in the links and stuff below just to give you a little variety as to what you can be picking, what you can be playing. So anyways, guys, that's a wrap. That shows you how to play the song. Hope, uh, hope it helps you. Hope you can worship to it. Let me know if you have questions. Drop a comment, head over to the community tab on my channel. I'd love to connect with you, get to know you a little bit. So go over there, drop your name, drop where you're from. I'd love to uh, connect with you. And um, I think that's a wrap. Hope it helps you guys. Love you, bye.